Hello everyone, welcome back again to a wonderful opportunities for all those applicants who really wanted to get into masters and pursue PhD from overseas. And if you are among one of them and wanted to get into higher education and research, then this fellowship is for you. So let's talk about Japanese government MEXT scholarship program in detail. So this MEXT scholarship, this is given for a various field of study. But here we are specifically talking about biotechnology as well as biology student. So this is offered by the government of Japan, which offers the government scholarships to the Indian students. So this scholarship is it is specifically for Indian student that is offered by the Japanese government under the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Sciences and Technology. That is what called as MEXT scholarship program that is needed to pursue higher studies and research. Now, what are the highlights of this scholarship program? So in, if you want to get more into the details of this MEXT scholarship program, so you can just go to and visit the Japanese government MEXT scholarship website. And the type and the scholarship is given for the research students, those who wanted to pursue their higher research. The level is means it is a graduate school level and it is given to a research student master student and if you want to get into PhD then this is for you and what is the age level the upper age limit is 35 years old so you have to be below the 35 years and then you are able to avail this type of fellowship what are the fields of study so you can see here there are various field of study under this MEXT scholarship such as you can go for Japan related humanities you can go for Japan related social sciences mathematical sciences physics chemistry and chemical engineering, biology and biotechnology, agriculture, fishery, environmental sciences, pharmaceutical sciences, geology and geoinformatics, civil engineering, architecture, material sciences and engineering, electrical engineering, electronics and communications engineering, mechanical engineering, aerospace engineering, robotics, information technology and sports sciences. So you can see there, these are all different fields and you can get into masters or PhD program or any kind of research program of your interest under this MEXT scholarship program. Now coming to the courses and the eligibility that is offered by the Japanese government under this scheme. So the first phase that is for the research student and if you want to pursue a master's and doctoral course. So for this you need to have the eligibility criteria of the bachelor's degree and along with this you should have a minimum percentage of 65%. So you should have bachelor's degree along with it it should be a minimum of 65% and if you are going for the second phase that is for the doctoral, doctoral course. So so you should have this time master's degree that is a relevant field that is needed for this doctoral phase but here you should have the 65 percent that is a minimum aggregate that is needed to enter into your doctoral program under this MEXT fellowship and you have to note one specific point that is mentioned here that candidates should have practical research teaching as well as work experience so before you are applying for this fellowship you should make uh, sure that you are uh, having any kind of research experience of any working in any of the laboratory or you are having teaching experience or any work experience. Now what is the term of this scholarship? So for a non-regular student this scholarship is total for the two years and for a regular student those who are enrolled in masters, doctoral or any professional graduate students so for them you have to wait there till the completion of the respective regular course and then only that course will be done. So for non-regular student, they can go after two years, but for a regular student, you have to wait there till you complete that particular course. Now, what are the stipends that is given to a fellow, whether it is research fellow, master student or doctoral fellow? So if you are going for a preparatory education and if you are a non-regular student, so that time it will be 1,43,000 yen, that is approximately equal to 85,800 Indian rupee per month. For a regular student who are enrolled in master's or professional degree courses, for them it is 1,44,000 yen that is approximately equal to 86,400 rupees per month. And if you are a regular student who is enrolled in a doctoral program, so for them it is 1,45,000 yen that is a Japan currency and that is equivalent to the Indian currency that is 87,000 per month. So this is a stipend that is offered under the MEXT scholarship program. 
Now coming to what is the number of uh, scholarship that is given under this. So it is yet to be announced for the year, like you can say for the upcoming year. So they can post in their website, like what is the number of scholarship they are going uh, to give this year. What is the education fees? So those who are selected under this scheme, they are exempted for any kind of uh, education fees and you don't have to pay any fee there. And the traveling expenses that is needed that will be given there and that will be given for the round trip airfare that will be provided to the candidates who are selected specifically under this kind of program. Now how to apply for this fellowship and where to send all your documents. So you have to email an application form that is given in a prescribed format. You have to fill that form and you have to send it in a word file. And that word file should not exceed above 200 KB. And the email ID is given here. So you have to email that word document specifically to scholarshipindia at nd.mofa.go.jp. So this is the email ID that is uh, given here. So you have to mail this word file in this ID. No supporting documents are required to submit. So you don't have to submit any other document. And if you're submitting all these documents or this word file, except word file, if you're submitting your application in a handwritten documents, or if you're providing a PDF, if you're submitting PowerPoint, Google Drive link, or any kind of Google Docs, so that application will be rejected automatically. So make sure you're submitting your application in a word file and you are sending it to this email ID that is given here that should not exceed 200 KB. Now coming to the preliminary selection and what are the dates so you can expect the uh, call next call so the dates are mentioned here for the next year so the application deadline is the May 2023 so you can uh, go for the next call and you have to wait for the next year so the application will be on the month of April or that will be till the month of May so you have to search for this uh, MEXT fellowship that will open in the next year. Application screening will be done in the month of May and June. Notification of the result of the preliminary application form that will be in the result uh, released in the month of third week of June. The written examination will be held in the month of June and again an online interview that will be around the end of June. So these are just the tentative dates and if you are looking to pursue for your master's or any kind of doctoral degree, so you have to wait and look and seek for this application in the month of April and May next year. So for more details, if you want to contact, so you can just go for Japan Information Center, that is Embassy of Japan, that is located in New Delhi, that is 50G Shantipat Chanakipri. So here they have given the phone number also, so you can just call them and contact them. So for this year, this next scholarship is just closed, so you can wait and you can apply for the next year if you want to get into higher education. So this is all about the MEXT scholarship where we have seen the stipend, we have seen the eligibility criteria, who can apply for this fellowship, what should be your uh, stipend and everything regarding this uh, MEXT fellowship. So if you want to know more about the fellowship, you can also visit to the information uh, details or you can also get into the website that is mentioned in the slides. So thank you for watching this video. Meet you in the next video. Until next time, this is your host, Ria from Biotechnica. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Keep learning.